Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you all had a great trading day today. I uh, really just want to do a quick recap on uh, a couple of trades that I took today, one that I swung yesterday, and how I fumbled uh, NVIDIA uh, just by not being patient and uh, waiting for it to play out. So uh, I'll start with SPX. Uh, I ended up playing uh, SPY 431 calls. Uh, we mapped out our levels in the pre-market live uh, going back to the overnight low which was this line here and ultimately uh, yesterday's low so we knew that if one gave um, the last line of support would eventually be yesterday's low and if we lost that um, we were headed down much further so uh, the first thing I did was uh, obviously you know I wait for the ADMA to break uh, I missed this entire move here you have a bear flag that eventually played out missed that as well. Um, it was tough to play puts because there wasn't really, you weren't sure the, you know, if level one of support, level two of support were going to hold. So you didn't want to get caught and more than likely you would have been chopped up somewhere around here. So I decided to sit patient, um, and play bull, um, take a much safer trade, cheaper trade. Uh, I got into some 431 zero days. Uh, bought them at 816, so I entered here on this candle uh, and took a uh, took a trim about an hour later and fully exited, maybe 15 minutes later. But uh, you know, it was a very simple trade. It was easy um, to navigate because there was a very clear stop. You know, uh, you, you always talk about trade plans and what you're going to do in X, Y, and Z. Uh, I knew exactly what I was going to do uh, if yesterday's low didn't hold. And it was a cut for me. Uh, I was out of the trade. Um, bought at 816. This is the 815 candle here. This is, you know, basically a double bottom. And uh, bottom ticked it almost to the penny pretty well. Um, took my first trim here. Uh, 10, what's that? 913. So I took my very first trim here uh, and eventually exited uh, the position here. So almost bottom and top ticked this uh, perfectly. Uh, right before the sell-off so uh, again it was just it was a low risk high reward play we did have a gap on spy so this again this is the candle that i entered on um it's three dollars out of the money uh, i was aiming for the gap fill it never got there obviously but the way the volume was uh was set up and and this upper wick had me on notice let me know that hey you know uh, it's not accepted sellers are sellers are going to drive this down and then ultimately double top exited here on this candle right here. So uh, it was a good trade. Took 183%. I think my average was probably around uh, 140, 150% by the time uh, you average everything out. So uh, really good trade. Very, very low risk trade. Uh, something I'm proud of. Um, let's look at Tesla. Uh, this was a small play as well. It was a swing um, very, very tiny position. I took some 870 calls, entered two minutes before close yesterday. Um, the volume is what attracted me to the play. You know, you got uh, big, big, big bull, vo bull volume. Oh, no. Big bull, bull volume here on this candle here. This is the, uh, what's that? Right before 1 o'clock candle or 1, one o'clock Pacific. And ended up exiting right at open. Um, my thought process was if we were going to get a gap up, uh, it would be worth something. Because, you know, buyers come in um, when Apple, when Apple, when Tesla's green. So uh, good exit on here, too. I think I bought it 240 sold it 3 bucks maybe, something like that. It was, it was a decent play, something to play. I hadn't played Tesla for the week. Uh, NVIDIA is the one I fumbled. Uh the most. I called this out in members pick um, in the Discord uh, yesterday, probably midday. 230 puts. Uh, I was trading around 240, but it looked weak to me. And I knew that, you know, if this were to break, if this, if this pattern were to break, um, it was coming down here. So I called it out pre market, had an eye on it, and uh, I believe on this pump here, I exited and should have been more patient. Again, I, I called it as a lotto, and I know my own rules, and 
Um, it was down 40% yesterday. And once it got close to break even, I ended up taking, uh, taking it off the table and, and wanted to look for a reentry. But hindsight being 2020, uh, I should have continued to let the lotto be the lotto. Like I preach to all you guys, uh, the low was, uh, what's that? 224. So you got, you know, six bucks in intrinsic value at the 230 put. Um, probably at its high, it was uh, a 500% play. If my math is right, I paid a dollar sixty for the for the contract, dollar sixty six. So something I could have done better. Uh, been more patient with that one, but uh, spy made up for it. Again, I can't stress the the low risk of this trade. Again, uh, we knew our lows, we knew our levels. If forty two eighty four broke, I was out of the trade. Um, and if it held, there was much greater, um, reward to the upside because look what happened the last time, the last two times it touched this zone, you know, you get long tails, big moves to the upside. So this is support. This is what we'll be looking uh, for next week. You know, we obviously play this market week by week. We'll take a look at SPX on the weekly, you know, it's very frustrating. I know for all you guys, we've just traded in a range for, you know, God knows how long it's a hundred point range over, over three weeks or maybe, you know, more than that, but 200 point range, three weeks. So, um, this is a zone that's been respected. This is a demand zone that's been respected. You got what? Six touches, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, you know, it, it's holding for now, uh, until it doesn't, uh, we are continuing to make lower highs and lower lows here. We'll draw that out. You know, so at some point something has to give, you know, are we going to bounce here and, and make lower highs to lower lows or do we continue our downward momentum, fill the uh, gap down at SPY 400? So we'll know soon, soon enough. These things, you know, can't chop around forever. We're not going to go, you know, left to right for, I'm sorry, we're not going to go, you know, left, right, left, right for, for much longer. So, um, We'll have a weekly watch list tomorrow. No, Sunday. Sunday, we'll have a weekly watch list. Um, we'll have some more lives next week. Thank you guys for always tuning in. Don't forget to leave a comment and share and hit the thumbs up for this video if you found it valuable. Uh, subscribe if you haven't, if you're not. And uh, I will see you guys on Sunday for the weekly watch list. You guys have a great weekend.